guys, welcome to the shop. I'm Fred. Uh, I'd like to say uh, thanks to uh, Rostanox for giving me a shout out. Uh, check out his channel. He does some really neat things and he's uh, very energetic. Uh, I wish I had the same energy he does, but I don't. <laughs> and uh, uh, yeah, I got a few small projects. I got the plans off of uh, Everett at Everett's Workshop to make a, uh, a quill stop for my uh, lathe. He has the same um, uh, King lathe, uh, 12 by 36. And uh, yeah, he uh, made one of these stops here, so he sent me the plans. Uh, yeah, threw it in the mill yesterday, milled it all out. I still got some uh, finishing things I got to do on it. Uh, made some uh, welding wedges, you know, just small stuff. Um, a little dial indicator for my compound on my lathe because sometimes uh, I don't think that those little uh, digits are actually reading properly. So this is good up to a half an inch, which is perfect when I'm doing a fine, fine cutting. Anyways, I'd like to apologize. I haven't been on the air for about a month and two weeks. I uh, had a little accident at work. Um, an MCC panel blew up in my face and uh, yeah, the explosion was so loud, it knocked my hearing out. Uh, I was wobbling all over the damn place, couldn't walk properly. They call it uh, uh, vertigo or something like that where your inner eardrum starts to make you feel dizzy. So after all the tests and CAT scans and going to my doctor, uh, he gave me uh, the okay to go back on a modified duty back to work. So we're going to try to do that. So anyways, I've got a little bit of milling to do on this uh, quill stop and uh, or carriage stop I mean and uh, we're going to mount this little uh, dial indicator. I got this from uh, uh, I am I gauging. This was uh, sold at uh, Busy Bee Tools uh, in the next town over there Pickering. So we're going to install that. So when I'm doing some some boring, I can put that on there. I'll cut a little flat on this and uh, mount it to the uh, quill. I've got to drill some holes and like I said, I got a little bit left to do. It's about 35, maybe 38 degrees Celsius here today. Uh, I'm going to limit myself to how much I do because uh, I just don't have, sometimes I just don't have the energy. Anyways, uh, so with that all said, uh, let's get to the mill. Alright, you hang in there. Okay guys, we're just going to take off this little part here off. And then we got to take this off, put a little lip on there. Uh, that uh, you can secure the uh, stop to the carriage. So and we got to drill some holes, so not too much to do. Like I said, it's really hot outside and uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty brutal.
Okay, that's about it guys. What I guess gotta do is fit it up. So this part is where the, uh, the tail stop. So I wanna have enough clearance that I uh, don't hit the uh, stop. So give me a few minutes to clean up and uh, just uh, test fit it. All right, hang in there. Okay guys, we're back. I just gotta take another 16th of an inch off there. All right, let's go. Okay guys, so that's about it for that side there. Let me clean up here this mess again and uh, and we'll come back. All right, hang in. Okay guys, we gotta trim this down about uh, a quarter of an inch. All right, let's get to it. Okay guys, so here's that, uh, that quill stop, or uh, uh, what do you call it, carriage stop, not quill stop. Um, fits on there, I'll have uh, two screws underneath there, and a little plate that pushes up against this, uh, this uh, part of the guide here. And that'll just hold it in place, and uh, I can mount my little, uh, my little dial indicator. This little gizmo here, it's got two little uh, pins on it. You just got to drill a hole, and that, that'll go in between there. And uh, the carriage. And now when I'm doing some boring, I don't have to do guesswork or mark things with a marker, so I'll be using this thing here. All right, hang in there. Got to drill some... Uh quarter 20s, oh, drill holes for quarter 20s in three spots. So I already uh, plugged into one hole, so let's uh, splat drill it and get out of there. That again.
next one. Going down half an inch. Okay guys, I'll come back. I just got paid. Yeah, I sort of finished tapping some of these holes here. Quarter twenties. Okay, I got them half, half inch apart here. All right. 
Let me get the other little plate made and we'll all come back. Okay guys, we're back. So uh, we're finished. I just put the little bit of plate on the, the bottom of that uh, carriage stop there. I added a little twist to it, put a couple studs in there and uh, a quick release handle. I'll give you shots of it. So we'll go over to the uh, lathe and uh, you can see exactly what I mean. All right, hang in there. Okay guys, so I added a few studs here, guide studs, and put a quick release handle on there. So uh, it'll fit on the, uh, on the uh, lathe. Let me get it fitted up and I'll give you a few shots. All right. Okay guys, so I've got the uh, stop on there. This little handle, I just, this way, move it and lock it back up. And she's uh, tight as a drum. So I'm, I'm gonna be leaving that on. Just slide it to the very end, tighten it down and she's tight as a rock. All right, that'll be it for today, guys. All right. And we're back, guys. So uh, Everett, uh, thanks for the plans. They turned out awesome. Uh, I did put my little twist on there, uh, quick disconnect uh, thumb uh, screw. Also, again, thanks to uh, Russ Knox for giving me a shout out. I'd like to thank all my subscribers, all my new subscribers. Thanks for hanging in there, really appreciate it. And uh, check out um, Randy Richards. He's building a new part of the shop. And so is my uh, buddy Tom at Hilltop uh, Machine Works. He's, uh, I think he's about ready to lace, put some cement in there. He's been chomping at the bit for a while on that as well. So anyways, guys, you have a good day. Check out those other uh, YouTube channels. They're awesome. There's so much out there. You guys have a great day. Bye for now.